uh, this is the ESP traction bar right here. What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So, first of all, big shout out to my man, Lou, aka Mugen Ray. You feel me? Um, he held me down. Uh, I'm using his traction bar at the moment so I can order one for myself because it takes a while. Um, I'm going to order from ESP. If you haven't heard of ESP, he makes really good stuff, man. Uh, but he, I think he cut down on production, so he makes it to order. So you have to order it. It takes like four to six weeks. So he's going to let me borrow his traction bar. So I'm going to throw it on and see what happens. Hey, m and Dips, what's good? So, this is what the ESP traction bar looks like. Um, the only thing this kit's missing is um, <clears throat> this one you can run a torque bar, I think that's what it's called, to the front, uh, what do you call it? You can run that to the front motor mount. But yeah, this is it. So, I'm going to get the Prelude jacked up. Get the cross member off and get this bad boy on. Oh man, see here at MR Dips, we embrace the fact that it's 2019. You feel me? Uh we don't we don't do light switches no more. Everything remote control, baby. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? <laughs> but anyway, I love this joint. I controls like three different things in my shop. Um, so yeah. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and jack this thing up. See what's going on. All right. So once you get the car up, uh, the front end on jack stands, you're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a 17, a 17, and a 17. Boy, if you don't get. <laughs> Uh, depending on the angles uh, to get the actual cross member out from the bottom there's four bolts two on each side and then the arms run to either side of the um, I don't know if it's the hub itself or the lower control arm and there's two 17 from the top that's probably where these two will come into play um, that's pretty much it man so let's get it popping Darkness. Come hither. Oh snap. Alright. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get um I don't know you probably it's probably gonna be pointless to record most of this, but I think I'm gonna go for the two bolts attached to the lower control arm first. And once I get those loose, then I think I'm gonna go for the uh actual cross member itself. Oh so it also looks like this uh this little piece here too. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called. Like it's like where the toe hick, uh, toe hitch is in the front. Um, that piece has to come off too, and those looks like are 14s. So, <laughs> uh, shit, my back hurt already. All right, so I already got the uh, two 17s that connect the arm to the lower control arm. Got both of those out on both sides. There was no good angle to give you guys for me taking that one off. So, um, the two next ones I'm gonna do are the uh, 217 on the actual cross member that hold it to the frame.
Sorry I couldn't show you more of what I was doing, obviously, uh, without a lift, which, man, I wish I had a lift. Um, I wouldn't use it often, but situations like this, being able to work standing up versus laying down on a crawler. But anyway, that's all besides the point. I wasn't able to get you guys like up close and personal footage of everything I was doing, but long story short, to sum it up, um, on the cross member, there's two 17s on each side. There's arms coming from the cross member that goes to the lower control arm. Uh, there's two 17s from the top. Take those out, and then there's, um, I'm not even sure what to call this piece right here. Um, I'm not sure what this is called. It's part of the cross member, but I don't, I don't think this is, it's part of the cross member, but I don't know if it has its own name or not. Um, those are uh, six 14 millimeters. You take those off, that falls off. And pretty much the cross member comes right out. Um, after that, you pretty much take the uh, traction bar and I reuse those same bolts that I pulled out and fit perfect. Uh, and it looks good, man. Uh, there's a lot of space. Um, a lot of space. Obviously, it's like kind of like a performance mod. But um, I want to show you guys how much extra space I have now as far as running the new downpipe. I'm going to have plenty of space to do whatever. So check this out. So before the cross member, literally all that open space you're seeing right there, that was all cross member. Now, all you all you see is the traction bar. The traction bar gives me tons of space, bro, like tons. So that's good news. Um, as far as as far as getting the new down. Oh, I know you like my weld work. See, this is that new weld. It's called that HVAC weld. Y'all don't know nothing about that. It ain't TIG, it ain't MIG, this is HVAC weld. <laughs> I just did that because I didn't want the exhaust punishing my brand new alternator. So I um, just kind of got that while I, so I can move it in and out of the, the engine bay. I mean, in and out of the, the, the bay. <clears throat> but you can't tell because it's sitting right here. But I mean, I got space for days, bro. Space for days. I wish I would've got this traction bar way sooner. It's gonna make it a lot easier for when Mike uh, does this thing. So, um, this is the new turbo, the 6266 Precision. You know what I'm saying? So, I checked the oil feed. Um, I did run a, a oil pressure gauge too. Um, uh, obviously one of the first things you th you think about when the turbo goes bad is did it have oil pressure so I went ahead and ran a oil uh, feed line from the TD where same where I get my the same supply where I get my um, my uh, oil for the turbo it was a four prong so I had one blocked off I just unblocked it ran the line for this oil pressure gauge and then um, I will start it up and see what kind of oil pressure I got. But I got that just in case so I can read it because I didn't have one before. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. Got the new turbo on here. So once Mike does his thing, you know what I mean? I'll be ready for another tune. Hey, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, I know it wasn't like action packed. But if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you're new, you see that right there? Yeah, that's the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. The grand opening. I come through and start smoking shit. I'm creeping up while I'm approaching.